physicians could not identify the cause of rashes in the skin of a newborn who was on vacation. The newborn limbs have been amputated because the doctors are unsure what to do now. These newborn parents, Matthew Curry and Shanice, are concerned about the health of their first child and sense something is wrong. Make sure to hit the like button before we begin. The couple's four-month-old baby was discharged after being diagnosed with a possibly UTI from the hospital. The doctor had also noticed that the child might be suffering from unusual rashes. The only possible way to avoid the circulation of the disease was to amputate the newborn's limbs to prevent further rashes. A newborn was discharged and sent home from the hospital after diagnosing with UTI. His limbs were cut off to avoid the circulation of the disease. Several blood blockages might have caused a rare condition for the baby. After spending four weeks on vacation with family in Queensland, the parents Roy and Curry were sure that something was not right in their four-month-old baby. The medical condition of the baby mystified the hospital's medical team. The hospital team confessed to the parents that the kid may lose both hands and legs if the unusual rare disease continues. When Mr. Curry spoke to the Australia's Daily Mail, he says that he would not even wish this to happen even to his worst enemy, and no one has any idea what the other is going on. Even the physician is unsure how the two medical conditions of his son are inferring with each other. The author says that he would never wish anybody to have a medical mystery because the newborn Logan had been in the cardiac unit after being shifted from the intensive care unit. The newborn's family has been moved to Ronald McDonald near the hospital Westmead from Singleton, New South Wales, just to be closer to him constantly. Since he was shifted, the baby Logan has been put up in the intensive care unit. Doctors believe that Logan has a medical syndrome, a combination of collateral arthritis and Kawasaki illness. Still, the doctors are unaware of what to do with this rare medical condition. The doctors believe that the combination of these disorders might have caused together several blood blocks throughout the newborn's heart, body, and lungs, causing the reduction of blood flow for his extremities. Baby Logan's health is still under mystery. Mr. Curry said that he is not aware that his baby might lose his hands probably below his elbows as a cause of his rare medical condition. The disease also impacted the left leg of Logan below the knee, and the parents are unsure to what extent the doctors may try to retain Logan's arms and legs. Curry explained that to check what's still hiding under Logan's dead skin, the doctors have to wait until the deadly skin scrap away first. The couple identified the rash on their little one when they were on vacation. Later, the little one got furious and started vomiting, and he was rushed to the Gold Coast Emergency Hospital Department. He was first diagnosed with UTI, prescribed antibodies, and was asked to go home later. Logan was taken again to hospital as his condition started deteriorating and his body started to turn purplish, which was when doctors came across Logan's unusual medical ailment. Mr. Curry stated that he has never seen any cases like this and this is the first time he is coming across something like this. Mr. Curry had moved from Queensland to Sydney Westmead Hospital to be near to his family and which was a little relief for him. The couple started a GoFundMe drive to cope up with the price of the prosthetic limbs and for their son's further medical expenses, though they both are able to take off from work as Logan is their precious first child. Shanice is on maternity leave and Mr. Curry is on unpaid leave and they both have started to drain their respective bank accounts. When the mother's maternity leave was about to end, the father began to resume work to support their small family as a bricklayer. Mr. Curry stated that the whole situation has been a great challenge for them. However, they are trying to take things one day at a time. There are days that are better than others. Mr. Curry admitted empathetically. It's possible for us to enjoy ourselves as much as he does when he's having a wonderful day. Although the slightest things such as cough or sneeze can cause us to become alarmed and believe that there is something more major going on. What is Kawasaki disease and how does it affect you? Kawasaki disease or KD, also known as Kawasaki syndrome, is an acute febrile illness with no known cause that usually affects children under the age of 5. Kawasaki disease is caused by a virus that is transmitted through the air. Tomisaka Kawasaki published the initial description of the disease in Japan in 1967, and the first case outside of Japan were reported in Hawaii in 1976, marking the beginning of the modern era of infectious disease. Fever, rashes, swelling of the hands and feet, irritation and redness of the whites of the eyes, 
swollen lymph gland in the neck, and irritation and inflammation of the mouth, lips, and throat are some of the clinical indications of strep infection. It's uncertain what causes Kawasaki disease, which is sometimes known as Kawasaki syndrome, but it's an acute febrile sickness that primarily affects younger children than 5 years of age and has no known cause. Tony Saku Kawasaki published the initial description of the disease in Japan in 1967, and the first cases outside of Japan were reported in Hawaii in 1976, making the beginning of modern era of infectious disease in the United States. Katie is most commonly caused of acquired heart disease. Coronary heart dilations and aneurysm are serious problems that can occur. The usual treatment, which includes intravenous amenoglobin and aspirin, have been shown to significantly slow the progress of these coronary artery anomalies. KD is found all over the world with the highest prevalence in Japan, and it primarily affects boys and young children under the age of 5. KD may be seasonal, peaking in the winter and spring, and epidemics affecting a whole community have been observed on occasion. Since 1976, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has maintained a KD surveillance system which uses a variety of data sources to track and better understand KD in the United States. The CDC examines extensive hospital discharge databases in order to describe the prevalence and epidemiology of KD in the United States. Because the vast majority of children with KD are admitted to hospitals, the hospitalization rate provides a reliable approximation of the disease's prevalence. The CDC employs a passive KD surveillance system that relies on voluntary reporting of KD cases by healthcare providers and local state health authorities. This approach provides the CDC with additional information such as case symptoms and the presence or absence of coronary artery anomalies that may not otherwise be available in hospital discharge data. The CDC undertakes special studies to better understand the incidence and epidemiology of kidney diseases in the United States. Population-based and hospitalization studies in the continental U.S. have estimated an incident of KD rating from approximately 9-20% per 1,000 children under the age of 5 in the year 2016. Around 5,440 hospitalizations for KDs were reported among children under the age of 18 in the United States. 3,935 of these children were under the age of 5, resulting in a hospitalization rate of 19.8 per 1,000 children in that age group in the United States in 2016. Definition of the case according to the CDC, a case of KD is defined as illness in a patient who is at a fever for 5 days or longer and has at least 4 of the other 5 clinical signs. Rash lymphadenopathy of the cervical region, injection of conjunctival fluid on both sides, changes in the mucus of the mouth, changes in the extremities or the periphery. In patients with KD who do not have symptoms that correspond to the above case description but who do have symptoms as such as fever and coronary artery anomalies, they are characterized as having atypical or incomplete KD.